All right, so 11 Labs just launched something called a dubbing studio. The existing dubbing feature allows you to translate your videos into 29 different languages. So the dubbing studio is built on top of that and gives you more precise control when you translate your videos. You can update the translation, change the timing, or regenerate the dialogue until the accent or tone are just right. So let's watch this video. 11 Labs dubbing studio is here. Now you can easily translate your videos for new audiences around the world. Just upload or paste a link, choose a language, and click Create. It's one small step for man, just a little double. Instantly dubbing your content into multiple languages for a global reach. Oh, no. by the sailor man. The dubbing studio automatically detects multiple speakers, giving you precise control. Rename the characters, edit, and regenerate the dialogue until the accent and emotion so I put by El Marino. is just right. And when you're finished, you can add even more languages to expand your reach. In a land where the sun scorches the earth. You ain't from around here, are you, boy? In una terra dove il sole brucia la terra. Você não é daqui, não é, garoto. And you fed it into a hot cause up and be the minute. Eleven Labs Dubbing Studio, bringing your stories to every corner of the world. All right, so let's put this to the test. So all you gotta do is come into 11 Labs, go to the dubbing tab, and then just enter the project name. And here you would just pick the source language. So I would just pick English. So for the target language, there are 29 different languages you could choose from. For this tutorial, let's choose Spanish. And for the video, you can either upload a video file. You could paste a YouTube link, a TikTok link, a X link, Vimeo, or other URLs. So for this tutorial, let's just grab a YouTube link. Okay, I'm gonna grab this link, come back to 11 Labs, and just paste this link here. So this one is a new option, create a dubbing studio project, so we can check this. And you have the option to add a watermark to reduce the character usage by 50%, so we could do that. And let's look at the advanced settings. So for the number of speaker, it could automatically detect, but we only have one speaker, which is myself in this video, and video resolution at the highest. And after you're done, just click Create. And then you'll see the project is created and then it's being worked on. Okay, now it's finished. So when it's finished, what you can do is come down to details and you'll see the project details. So just so you know, if you have checked this box, create a dubbing studio project, this is what it looks like. I created like two test projects down here that didn't select an option. So you have the option to view this project and download it, right? So in this case, we can just come to edit so in, in here is where you could edit anything you want. So on the top is also where you could find the different segments. So let's say if you spot any mistake and then you could regenerate the audio or retranscribe. So I'm not that fluent in Spanish. So I will just take their word for it. Assume that this is good. And once it's good, then you could just click on the export button. Click export. All right, now it's done. You could either view it or download it. So we'll just view it. All right, so if your video is good, you can download it by coming down here, click on these three dots, and you'll be able to download the file. So that's it for this video. If this was helpful, please subscribe to the channel, and then I'll keep you posted with any new updates with 11 Labs, and I'll see you in the next video.